morning. It's a Tuesday morning. It's a great morning to get into the Word. We're going to be in Psalm 30 this morning. So join us. Join us and, and share this so that others join us. As you open up your Bible or your electronic Bible or whatever resource you want to use to get into the Word, into Psalm chapter 30. And as you join us this morning, let us know what's your favorite thing about fall. What's your favorite thing about fall? Um, but you can't say pumpkin spice. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about fall? So go ahead and comment. Let us know how you're doing. I think my favorite thing about fall, I, it's not traditionally my favorite season, but there are things that I really like about it. I like the air, like Ann just said. I, I definitely like the air. I like when we have days like these where you, you still get the look and the feel of fall in the air, but it's still warm. Right? It's still warm enough. I mean, the temperature would tell you maybe it's not as warm, but yet there's still like some humidity in the air right now. So it feels warm, feels kind of nice. Um, or just when you have the, those crisp warm days too. So I like the, the change in the weather, but while it's still warm. And then I kind of end up waiting for, for summer after that again. So good morning. Some people said changing the colors, apples. Okay, so let us know what your favorite thing is about fall as we open up to Psalm chapter 30. So this is another Psalm of David. And I'm going to read through all of these verses. And then we'll kind of talk about two main themes in this Psalm. I will extol you, O Lord. For you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. O Lord, you've brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you, his saints. Give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night. But joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cry. And to the Lord, I plead for mercy. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. So let me, let me go back here to begin. Okay. So there's, there's a lot going on in this psalm. And first you see... Apparently, David is was at some point close to death and healed. And he's giving God all the praise for it. And as we, we think about that, you know, most of us, when, when people are healed, right, in the, the hospital, wherever, when they receive care and they're healed, we usually attribute that healing to natural causes, don't we? To technology or modern medicine. But not David. David sees it as divine intervention. And, and in this psalm, he just can't, at first, he cannot thank the Lord enough. And so I think sometimes we're, we're educated that divine intervention almost never happens. But, you know, and we attribute it to explainable things, right? But that's not the truth that David lives by. And I think that's, that's powerful for us to remember. Now, another theme in this psalm. David is reflecting, let's go to verse 6. David's reflecting on his prosperity and how he mishandled that prosperity. As for me and my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. I shall never be moved. So you think about that, that that's kind of a way of saying, I'm, I'm so stable. I'm prospering so much. I'm unstoppable. Okay, 
It's arrogance and it's a trust in self. David's very transparent about that, how he, he trusted in his, his prosperity. Okay, and then he mishandled it, filled him with pride, and God ends up using that prosperity as a, a test for him to develop wisdom, to develop character, to develop godliness. And so a lot of the rest of the psalm is David thanking God for, for saving him. And also David is, is reflecting on how God worked through this. And he says in verse 11, you've turned for me my mourning into dancing. You've loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. Oh, Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. So he's thankful for this. He's thankful for this trial. He's thankful for the wisdom that God has brought him through all this. So something important to remember, first of all, is, you know, earthly prosperity um, it's a, can be a blessing from God, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean God's eternal favor because you have prosperity, because someone has prosperity. There are plenty of people who don't know the Lord, who are far from the Lord, who have prosperity. Okay, just like poverty, it does not mean it's a sign of God's disfavor. There are plenty of people in poverty who, who love the Lord. And yet sometimes people associate those things with God's favor or his, his disfavor. And a lot of times prosperity can, can lead people away from the Lord and trusting in their, themselves, as David has done. So to reflect, you know, right now, if, if you find yourself in a season of prosperity, take this psalm as a caution. Take this psalm as a caution to humble yourself now. And stay humble and, and stay devoted. Don't, don't make God use something to show you that humility again. Okay, so... Don't let prosperity take you far from the Lord. If you're in a season of prosperity, if you're in a comfortable season, continue to thank him. David cannot thank God enough in this psalm. Okay? Now, if you're in a season that's maybe the opposite, where God's face seems hidden, remember that this is not a final word from God. If, if you feel like you're, you're in a season where you just feel far from him or your things aren't going well, things aren't falling into place. Remember that that's also not the final word from God. And that's, that's not God showing his, his disfavor. So if you're, if you're struggling, okay. We, we remember the words of this Psalm where David says, weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. So, Stop worrying and turn to faith and hope because we know how the story ends. We know that there are ups and downs in life. We know God is faithful. We know that he's with us and he does continue to bless us. He will and he does. So try not to, to ride the highs and the lows okay, of the world. Stay humble and, and stay faithful. And of course, enjoy those seasons of prosperity and, and let them draw you closer to the Lord in gratitude. And in those seasons where it's the opposite, draw closer to the Lord in your need for him. You know, when you think about Jesus, Jesus faced plenty of opposition and hard times during his ministry. There are plenty of times where he had to withdraw from the opposition because it was so intense. Okay, but it doesn't, didn't cause him to give up on the Lord and cause him to think, well, God doesn't, doesn't love me anymore. And because Jesus died and rose for us and then ascended, he says, he, and he assures us, he is with us even to the end of the age. So ma no matter what season you're in, remember, God is near. So with that, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the depth, the truth, the power of these psalms and what a gift they are to us, Lord. We know that you, you promise us in this world that we will have trouble because of the, the condition of our world. And because of that, we go through very different seasons, Lord. Help us to cling to you in all 
seasons. In seasons of plenty, help us to give you thanks. In, in seasons of need or seasons of discouragement, help us to draw our strength from you. And to always have hope, knowing that the story ends in perfect eternity with you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care, everybody. Psalm 31 tomorrow. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you soon.